Okay, here we have our XPS M 1730. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is up to upgrading the graphics card in the system. The graphics card is upgradable. And Dell uh, will be releasing an upgrade program to do so. This unit here currently has an 87-8700 MGT graphics card um, in SLI and we're going to be removing that and swapping that over for the 8800 MGTX uh, which has double the bandwidth and double the memory uh, so it's a much faster card overall. Okay, what we want to start with first is you need to turn the laptop over. Um, the first thing you need to do, obviously, is remove your battery. So we're just going to remove that now. Make sure you ground yourself. Um, I'm working off a carpet here, which I really shouldn't be, but I've got a, uh, a steel frame next to me, so I'll be grounding myself quite often. Um, didn't have enough space on my desk at the moment. But if you remove the battery, so it's got no power whatsoever, and we need to remove all the screws around the unit. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, so we've got screws where all the holes are around the unit, uh, most of them being down the bottom here. Um, there's one screw that most people tend to miss, and I missed it the first time around. So it's all of these around the outside. But if we take the uh, hard drive cover off, uh, if I just take that off now, there's a screw just down in this corner here. Um, so that's another screw that you need to remove. Dell do state that you need to remove your optical drive, you need to remove all your RAM, you need to remove your hard drive and so on, but uh, we're not changing the motherboard so I really don't see a need as to why we need to remove all of that. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is just to remove all the screws around the unit, uh, around the bottom of the unit, and then we'll turn it over and start working on the inside. Okay, so all the screws have been removed from the bottom of the laptop. There's a total of 14 screws to remove from the bottom. Uh, next, what we want to do is just get a, a flat end, uh, just to be careful not to scratch the laptop, but just into the right side there and raise the, uh, the hinge cover. So we remove the hinge cover. There we go. Right, once that's removed, the next thing we want to do is remove the keyboard and just get that out of the way. The keyboard's got four screws. One, two, three, four. Uh, so we're just going to remove them four screws and uh, remove the keyboard. Right, so we've removed the four screws now. Once you remove the four screws, just gently push the keyboard up. There we go. There's a clip here at the bottom here. You'll see it more clearly in a second. There's a clip right down the very bottom uh, which you which uh, unplugs and then you just pull the keyboard forward like so um, underneath the keyboard if I just pull the laptop across so you can see it a bit better there we go underneath the keyboard there's a little ribbon just up this end here uh, so there's a little ribbon here what we need to do with that there's a little clip on the other side which keeps the ribbon into place you just need to pull this clip up slightly and the ribbon will come away and that's your keyboard that's completely come away from the unit right if we put the keyboard to one side what we want to do and probably concentrate on next is to remove the actual LCD display uh, we need to remove that because it's got some screws at the bottom uh, we're going to remove the whole top of the laptop so there's uh, some screws at the bottom just underneath the LCD display here just where I'm pointing which we need to get to in order to get to them we need to remove the entire display so again uh, what we need to do is open the display um, to a reasonable amount so you can easily work on it and there's a couple of cables there's one cable here there's one coming down here and this black one coming down here to the wireless connections uh, we need to remove all of these cables uh, each cable will have a blue, this one up here for example is a blue section uh, you just pull up on that and it unclips uh, so we can easily remove that again same down here, you need to be very careful with these very small connectors because uh, the wires in them are pretty tiny so try not to pull on the actual cable rather get your nails down by each plug and pull up on the plug so that's that one uh, I'm done from there uh, with this one here uh, best to get just a flattened screwdriver just to get right under because that's a, a bit of a tricky part here um, once you've removed 
this cable. Um, right, this one has got many small connections. These small ones here, as you can see, I've not got these wireless cards, wireless in, and so on. So uh, I can easily just remove these connections if, uh, from their from their seating areas. Um, so if I just undo all of them, that's all of them connections off, and the one there. Uh, now I need to take my two connections, these two connections here, I need to take them away from the actual wireless card. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, uh, it's probably best to use some tweezers, or if you're very careful with a flattened screwdriver, you can just take the connections off, just like that. So you need to be very careful because they are really tiny connections. Take the last one off there, there we go. And then uh, we can take these cables out. and away from the laptop. So there we've got all of our cables away from the laptop. Uh, it's also a good idea at this point, there's a little connector here that connects the actual touchpad to the main board. Uh, so if we just remove that also, there we go, that's that removed. Um, what we're gonna do now is four screws, one, two, three, and four, just at the very top hinges. We're going to remove them. By removing them, the whole LCD display will then come away from the actual laptop. Well, as you can see, our LCD display has been completely removed from the laptop. Here's the display here. So it's been completely removed from the laptop. So we put that to one side. Now we want to con concentrate on the actual laptop itself. And these are the last bunch of screws you need to remove. There's quite a few of them. Uh, the two you don't forget are the two top top two here which is why we had to remove the actual LCD display but there's many other screws like there, 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 there um, there's also one just there and one there uh, you need to remove all the screws basically every screw that's marked with a P P standing for palm rest we need to remove okay so I've removed all of the uh, screws that had a P mark next to them again standing for palm rest something which I did forget to mention your LCD screen has a cable coming down which connects to the main board just there. So just make sure you unplug that. So the, the ones you need to unplug, that LCD screen there, the palm rest down here, your when you take the LCD off, there's a connection there and a connection up here and also from your LCD the cable that came down onto your wireless connections. So that should lift off nice and easy. Right, once that's lifted off, you've got the, the bare bones of the laptop here, you've got the main board under here, that's your CPU fan just there, there's a heat sink just under that, uh, and then your CPU, that's your physics card, the physics PPU, and that's your graphics card there, uh, I did forget to show you the 8800, but it looks exactly the same, that's the 8700 MGT, uh, here we've got the 8800, uh, 8800 MGTX, that's the graphics card we're actually about to put in now. Um, to remove this graphics card, uh, you just pull up on the, where it says push here, down here. If you just get your nail down under it um, and you just pull up, it should come away nice and easy. So there you go, there's your 8700 MGT. That's going there. And your 8800 MGTX, uh, which you just put into place and uh, push down when the connections are lined up. Just push down, and that's it. That's that's that in. Uh, now we just concentrate on putting everything back together. Okay, now the 8800 is securely in place. We're going to put everything back together. So uh, you start with your palm rest. Make sure that's down and securely in place on all sides. So just give it a push down around all sides. Um, Connect your palm rest cable, so it's just down here. And push that firmly down into place. Once that's in place, you might as well connect your uh, LCD display cable. Uh, and once they're in place, if we put all the P screws back into place before we go any further with the LCD screen. 